Hello everybody, I am the Sonic Arrow, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. It's about time I got back into this, I love this game, there's no better game than this in my opinion. I mean, you may all, you all may have your own opinion, but I love this game, everything about this game, the anime style courtroom battles, it's just great. And, look from safe point. So, if I remember right, oh yeah, we were talking to this bitch. This crazy bitch. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not! You stinky lawyer, I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I want to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done quite enough, you spiky head? Ugh, here we go again. Please, you're scaring a security guard. So, what is it you wish to ask me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? <laughs> you don't want to know what was going through my head. Uh, let's see. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. So what do we got that would make her want to talk? Not the wiretap, because we have to ask about that. Floor plans, you know, it's a murder scene. Okay, so move. Uh, gate one. September 7th, Gate Water Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will be... will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the, in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. I need to talk to this guy, I think. Talk about Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think she, the most suspicious person here is this guy. Man with May. I want to ask, I want to ask you about the man who is with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are of the same ilk, both carrying the scent of danger. Pardon me, I gotta roll up my sleeves. They're a tad long. Terribly sorry, I should have done this before I started. Or I've just worn a short sleeve shirt. That's a real solution. Rather than doing this mid video, I could have worn a short sleeve shirt. Alright. Let's do this. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo. Hmm. Tell me about the hotel. Would you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, on the subject, sir. Certainly, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor! I just had to... for the little dashes on the end. Ignore me. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your sea set. Okay, so... now we have to go... to the Grossberg Law Offices. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Where was that giant painting? Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on this wall? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of... Fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't very a, a very memorable painting anyhow. Gee. That's nice. I put in the effort to try and remember, because it was Frost's Illumination. It wasn't Mr. Grossberg himself. It wasn't Sunflowers. It was some dude looking somewhere. I don't know. Uh, these photos. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. What's it been written on? Something's... Blech! Like an English today. Something's been written in pencil on backs. 
DL6 incident, Exhibit A, DL6 incident, Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Let's look at Exhibit A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one missed just one little photo. Might be a valuable clue, I'll take it for now. No. Maybe? Seems like it wasn't Exhibit A. Seems like it... Swap it. I think I'll swap them. That's... It'll come to me. Back to the gate water. Present this photo. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? I can write it down. Well, sure. Why not? Yes, I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bow boy who swore the affidavit. And I will be known as the guy playing the lawyer. Here's where I even write it. Yes. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Thank you, Mr. Psycho. I'll be I'll go to see the witness. You again? Can't you take a hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now. You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Phoenix Wright shaved his head. Woo boy! That'd be awesome. Oh, that's right. I have to... Present! Take that! Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bow boy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man who you checked in with. Who is most definitely this guy. <sighs> now I'm getting somewhere. Push! This is it. All or nothing. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this in front of the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fist in the air? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, tell me about the man you were with. That man? He's my boss. Red White. The president of the inf of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White? Information gathering? Well, I suppose you'd call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is a man I was with you the night of the murder? I'm I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If you ever may couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Yeah, sure, just discard the affidavit. To Blue Corp! September 7th, Blue Corp, Inc. CEO's office. What's with this real decor? Hey! There's the painting! You all see that, right? It's it's. I'm. I'm not, am I going crazy? Am I going crazy? Is that the is that the painting? It wasn't my remember. What was it? Welcome. Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, right, Phoenix Wright. Inquirably, Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my gi giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion all. Corporate expansion official? My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. You know what? I'm looking up the CEO acronym. I don't think that's it. Let me just see. Chrome would load for me. That'd be great. Anyway, let's just, for now, let's just go back here. 
So I'm afraid I am not used to converging with the wordily challenged. Okay, now here we go. Uh, T-E-O acronym meaning. Chief Executive Officer. I knew it wasn't whatever this guy said. He's not very memorable. What a fruitcake. Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer with a man have with a man such as myself? Yipes, this guy's arrogance meters off the scale. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretarius. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like she's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Night of the murder. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details, such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Is that a little song you wrote that I might want to sing note for note? Do 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 do. Still, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. This is a good question, actually. I did the prosecution call him as a witness. He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they were mere toys. Play things for my amusement. Too bad you're not a cow, otherwise it'd be amusement. And with that, I end my career. Goodbye, everybody. I'm just kidding. I'm still here to plague you with some serious uh, stuff that makes you want to smash your computer in anger at my bad jokes. That's the word. My bad jokes. Huh. I swear I heard some... I'm, I'm going crazy. My hearing ain't what it used to be. I'm at the ripe old age of 17. I don't care. Uh, what, is, what kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell so, information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Yes, grand office that's about 10 feet wide and 9 feet long. Great, because I have it cluttered with a whole bunch of stuff that reduces the movement space down to about 5 feet in either direction from the door. It's beautiful. Is it? Uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder of CEO, named it so. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Why is your suit pink with purple? Why do you have purple hair a pink suit? The only thing that's blue are the polka dots on your tie and the little gemstone on your whatever you call that thing. That little brooch? That little brooch? And tabulistic, is it not? Uh, uh-uh. Nah, -uh. no. The painting. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? A big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. No, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being, my point is simple. Or rather, my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask you again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Grody Burger. Wh what? Ugh. Oof. Ugh. He, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge anyway. I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my building. Building? Bidding. Sure, they built this place, that's why it's such a cluttery mess. It's only that, that, ten feet long, eleven feet wide, or ten feet wide, eleven, nine feet long. Sure, why not, uh, whatever. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It's a world beyond your compensation. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs. Yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting hang of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now. Skedaddle. There's nothing more to discuss. 
That's why I had a bad feeling about this guy. He's a dick. Grossberg. Grossberg, Grody Burger, my old chum. What up? Uh, huh? I don't think he's noticing me standing here. Maybe I should get my throat. Ah, hum! So bad, there was a fats. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something really, something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Don't ask me. Today's trial. What about today's trial? So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, do you see? Couldn't get awake to sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just his sister. That poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I, what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. What about your refusal? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. A right, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's it's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Sorry, my my leg itched. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Let's talk about Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg. I have to admit something's been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, that's with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That photo of Mr. White. Photo of Mr. White. Why would you have his photo, Mr. Grossberg? Um, yes. Well, it's been a long time since then. A long time ago? I'm sorry. But I think not. I think you still have ties to Mr. White, even today. R really? Whatever gave you that idea? But what connection could I possibly have to an individual such as he? Pretty straightforward, actually. He's blackmailing you. Mr. White has done something on you. On you, doesn't. Has something on you. Has done something on you. Sure, that was your proper English grammar. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? Huh. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There's a giant painting hanging on your wall right there the other day. Was there not? I mean, for God's sake, man, you can't expect to hang something there and then have it just... Whoop, where'd it go? Is it under the rug? No, you can't move the rug. It's nailed down because I'm hiding something. Is that right? No. When you said you had no intention of parting with. Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, tell me what happened. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the, backs of the, on the back of those photographs... As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of my because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But arresting Red White would be not... Ugh, on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on anyone. On everyone. Not anyone. Everyone! He gives him an iron grip. It's like playing... It's like arm wrestling him. He just... 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 Just, you can't win! He's got an iron grip, and he never lets go. No matter how much you struggle, he always lets go, and you have no strength. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to, to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Tell me about the DL6 incident. What is a DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I need to write this down! I didn't bring a paper! I didn't bring a pencil! I'm unprepared! I can just jot all this down. Sure, the court record is nothing more up here. I just open my ear and... And... Yeah, it happened in... Uh, hold on. Uh, 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 uh.
Alright, this is my... This is... Oh, this is old... Oh, old chemistry junk. Oh, alright. Oh, and just open the ear. And... There we go. And then we'll all see that flying leprechaun with dragon wings and a... And a... A cat's tail? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't know what that was. It's just how he remembers stuff, I guess. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. Reason for blackmail. What is the reason? Well, why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let they couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time the offer was blackmail. I see. But controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Okay. Whoops. No, I don't want to present. Move. Banco. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. That might be best. Let's see. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is... Mia. Let's take a look at the shelves. All the cases the chief I worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Uh... File T through Z. T, U... I know, W. White! The entire W section is missing. Is it taken? Cases the chief I worked on. Alphabetical order. Uh, take a look at file A through I. Maybe, uh, Misty Faye. That's me and Maya's mother. Should I take a look? Read it. I have tarnished the Faye name, leaving only these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held the audience an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops here. It's me and New Grossberg. And let's take a look. Uh, take a look at J through S. Okay, J through S. J K L M N O P Q R S. Nine letters. Let's see, J... Uh, no, nothing. K... Killing? No. L... No. Let's just look. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim! Ah, well, I'll harm me flipping through a bit, I guess. Biggest parts here. At the end in F. At the end in S. Suicide? You. Collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen... It's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is me as handwriting. Wait, I get it. White drove them all to do it. Also, I can use these newspaper for these. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. <laughs> most disturbing! Ew, this one's got a bunch of slugs on it. Ew. No other words, it was an S. Ew. Politician suicide. Okay. Uh. Ooh, what do I do now? I don't remember where to go. I've been going through this not remembering a, a damn thing. Can I go back to Blue Corp? Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to go through myself. But it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. You try my patience for life for your nasty accident maker. Do I make myself clear? Transparency. Take that! This is the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? 
It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. She was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. This concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a fi file filled with articles like this. Every one of them has, was labeled with a single word. White. Hmm. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all of the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office. Hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. Oh, wait. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, is that you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I'd change my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right here in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. The killer, man. What? Mr. Wright, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in position to free offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You were a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Mia, Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. We get a lawyer so stupendously inept that they may even that they make even you look competent. I I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, Butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Detective Gumshoe. I resent to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fay. Wh what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Something's moving over there. None of my cats are in my room. Something over there's moving. I swear I, can, I hear something. Hey, well, Mr. Wrong. Uh, give myself a... Hmm. Uh, detention center visitor's room. Can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. The prosecution will be in on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you? I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Cheer me on in court. Well, you could cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Wait, 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 wait! What, what, what? I'm kidding, it was a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks, it's good to know you're on my side. There really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, and come to the trial tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show him a thing or two. This is why I love this game. Such a twist. You're defending yourself in court. Because he's an attorney, and he denied this state-appointed one. Get it?
Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few days ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. Never thought I would end up <coughs> in the defendant's chair myself for this case. The true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. It's gonna be him. I'm gonna hit him, I'm gonna hit him hard, and give him a good one, two. From Lefty and Fisty. Lefty brings the pain, Fisty brings the hurt. It's gonna be one, two. Cross. Save data. We're gonna do this. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Number one. Okay, this is cut. This is pinching me. I gotta pull down my sleeves. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah, one way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Prosecutor Edgeworth, I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. Hmm? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you may try to attack his testimony, if I raise an objection, I will have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? What, does White have the judge in his pocket too? So, you're saying I'm going to be guilty? End of story? I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie, to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? But Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney has isn't even here yet. They're not. I'll be defending myself. What? I love how there's no color in her mouth. It's like, instead of her eyes going totally white, it's like she can see out of her mouth. Okay, let's do this. He's the craziest sob this side of the this side of the Mississippi. I like him. He's a good guy. Well, at least I can roll it up a little so it's staying off my off my hands. Okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we'll hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. Today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. Okay, I, I hope I said that right the first time. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. I went, that went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's gonna raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Mr. Edgeworth, you and I owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Ms. Maya Fay? Hmm, I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man. And besides, at the time, I thought that Ms. May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I... I appreciate your response. Whatever that's in. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. I apologize uh, Apologize if this is a little slow. The frame rate seems to be a little slow on the uptake. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my pers personage? Or er, your name? Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my... Do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Nino? Nino. There's no accent over the N. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim missed me a fay? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there? Ahem. 
I'll tell you what you already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, like his face, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Let him have it, Phoenix. Man, I wish this game was a little farther along. That way she'd be calling me Nick instead of Phoenix. This doesn't sound right coming from Maya. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or that's reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible, terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. Things occur as you said, as you testified, that I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant, er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Very well, defendant, er, I mean... Mr. Lawyer, Mr. Wright, witnesses account. Let's see, it was about nine, I believe. How do you know what time it was? Because I'm always absolutely perfect, you know. No, no, no. You're not getting. You're not getting away with that. You're so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm, that's what Miss May said too. Press further. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern. Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. He would need extra vision to pull off something like that. Hmm, tell us, what were you doing at that time? Uh, reading some papers by the window. Hold it! <laughs> Hold it! By window, you mean the one directly across from the Fane Cole offices. Correct. That's the only window you see. And there you were reading papers? Correct. The Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I'm a busy man who had business to do. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Hold it. A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Hold it. So you're reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop? Yeah, right. You've made... Something of yourself on snooping. It was then I saw him. Spiky... Right. Hold it. Is it spiky-haired? He has to say that man was no other than, none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. Hold it. Can I testify and say I was somewhere else? What you said con directly confl conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Con counting both eyes, 40. 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Hey, who side is the judge on anyway? What did you do then? I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was surprised, of course. Hold it! What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know that she had been tapping the Faye office phone? Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Faye woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh-ho, I know. After all, I am El Presidente. Please continue. Victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. <coughs> Hold it. There we go. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, compadre, I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. He gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Absolutely. 
As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. That was close. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Okay, so she ran... Huh. She ran to the left, from his perspective, that's looking into the window. From the outside. Not looking out of the window, from the inside. Looking into it from outside. She ran to the left, but there was something there. Right? Am I crazy? I think I need to press more for more details. And you give chase. I pressed the L button. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? I am absolutely perfect. End of story. How many times must I hear that? Psst, Venus. Was this something about that strike was a little odd? Finally, there was a terrible impression. Then it was all over. Okay. I think Maya just gave me a hint. War plans? I'm going out on a ledge here. Ah! Clearly faulty. Shiite! Nothing faulty. This penalized you, Mr. Wright. Ugh, I must be on the wrong track? Alright, put up the- put it up on the- put it up- put it up in the history books! First time I- first time- no, the first time. First time this playthrough that I've been wrong and lost a piece of credibility. I now have four left! See that up in the- up, up, up there? Somewhere up, up there? Wherever it is? The- the exclamation marks? Those are my credibility. Ram to the left. Are you sure about that? Yeah, okay. Phoenix, isn't something about that strike? He was a little odd. Um, impaction? Don't you just mean impact? Ridiculosity! I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I'd better leave the whole language thing alone. Did I just prep this guy too, I wonder? Anyway, I better find a weakness here. There's about nine. Here's a reading. Bedlam outside the. Surprising. Surprise. Turn to look. Uh. Ran to the left. Ah! Wrong button. Sorry. Wrong button. Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. End of story. Isn't that something about that strike? He was a little odd. Okay, now we have to look at the court record. Broken beyond all recognition. Hmm. Nice. Ah, there we go! Dodge an attack to then ran to the right. Objection! Objection! Wait right there. Mr. Wright. Mr. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. That directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh ho ho! It is simple. You, you have misheard her. I think not. Look at this. Look at the four pines. Killer was here, and the victim here. The victim ran to the left as you think she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Ah, very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix. Look at, his, look at his face. It's obvious he's lying. True. Maybe he really did see the victim under the left. So he, he did... So he did the... So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction in court? Both are right, because she saw her run to the right from her perspective, and from his perspective, that was also the same as going... Hmm? The opposite way. So he was here. So if I'm, if I'm Mr. White, she would have gone to the left and turn it around. Miss May saw her go this way. Same direction. See my point? Both witnesses are telling the truth. Ha! I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that could, that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? What do you mean viewing the crime from the hotel? He was not in the hotel. Where could he have been? In the law offices of Fanco, of course. Fan company is what that means, but eh, Fanco. 
More specifically, he was standing here. I'm sure the quote from Mr. White was still. I like my finger precision. Take that! This is where he was. Look, when the victim ran from the door, he was watching from this point. To him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Edgeworth! Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? R R Rapscallion! Objection! The, po the postulations of this of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Ho ho ho! You provide us with so much, Mr. So much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer, is what I was going to say. What now? He is laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. No matter how much duct tape you put on it, you might as well just put it over your mouth, say nothing, and say, I concede. I concede. Put it on. Hands behind your back. Let them cuff you. Because I'm going to win. Though I lost a credibility. She ran to the left. Smith's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? I'm seeing something. Died from a blow by a blunt object. It says a blow, not two blows. That does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. She ran to the left. To the left. Left. Correct. There's... You hit her twice. Okay, I was right. I just wanted to test. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. What do you have to say to that? Or, er, er, that's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Mm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the, test, the, wit the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice. Don't let him get away. Very well. The witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. Not something out of this now, White. Mr. White? Uh, okay. The two accounts. Um, well, see, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia running to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. And, and then, she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her, hit her with a single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Thwap, indeed. Very well, we'll begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, it is hurting. Deal with it. This is almost over. This is going surprisingly quick for my... From surprisingly quick. Looked at the other, I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. She turned and ran to the door. Then you... Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll catch him on something. But it won't be that easy. If that thing fell... Is this where I present the floor place? No! Where I present the broken glass. Yeah, okay, they aren't, are they? Not at all, Mr. Wright. Please think the facts over before making accusations. I don't think that won't make any points with the judge. Then, the next moment I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Nah! I gotta press. Very faulty. Okay, gotta press. 
You just gotta press. Must be on the wrong track. Something with the glass shards. Because I'm on the I must be on the wrong track is a hint. It's the right evidence. But it's not the right statement. You attacked her, but she dodged. Hold it. Okay, just just press. You heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh that? Um, the light, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix, isn't there something about this trick? He was odd. Yeah, very odd. Press further. Mr. White? But what? You're saying that you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony to reflect that. S sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. The glass stand was lying on the floor when I looked. The glass stand was lying on the floor? That's the first I've ever heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? What, why? Me? But, well, I was instructed not to. Wait! One moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm so, so confused. It's falling apart. Yarn, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. M Mr. Wright, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the is on the ropes. Very well. The witness may continue his account. And the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, no, no. Triple no. How would I? How could I? I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Mr. Wright, I will not have you harrying the witness. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Now before, you said that she was hit before she ran. Yes, I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned and ran for the door. What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. <laughs> ah! No, no, not me! The, the killer, I mean. He gave chase. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. Mr. Wright here is only trying to fluster you with baseless accusations. Oh, oh right. Thank you, Miles. Then you did, did, did her in with a single blow. Flap! The whap? That doesn't sound like the savage attack from your earlier testimony. Oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Yes, well, I am a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, he's getting a lot less talkative. It won't be easy. Light stand. Mine on the floor. Next one I saw Miss Mia run to the left. So, I'm trying to remember. Light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. So the glass shards. Nah, I'm gonna fail this. I'm sure I follow. Yeah, er, contradicts the um. I thought. No, overruled. Okay. Light stand lying on the floor. On my last hit, I can't take another one, otherwise I lose. Lying on the floor when I look. Okay, so if it fell and then she went left from the perspective of someone outside looking in. Ah. Uh, Okay, chill. We got this. Gotcha. Nope, that's it. This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in that statement, Your Honor. They aren't, are they? 
Not alone, that's right, please. Yeah, okay. I'm done. Surrender the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all, this court is adjourned. That blows. Continue. Chapter start. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Sure. Why not? Blah, 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 blah. Miles comes in. Uh, uh, always lie. Let's do this. Getting tense up in here. Number one. I want to look over something first. Did her in with that single... The single blow did her in. No. Yeah, just think. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm up to doing this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Nah, let it go. Forget it. Call red, white. I am embarrassed. I'm supposed to be good at this game. Please say your full name. You wish to know to my personage. Or your name? Yes, that's what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name. These two are great together. Red light. Uh. <sighs> Blanco Nino. Nino, whatever. Okay, let's just get back to where we were.
Okay. Flap, indeed. I'm back to the point where I was, where I lost. So, the hurting stomach, almost over. Let's do this! Mm. Light stand. Yeah, very odd. Mr. White? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Yes. Then change your testimony or fuck that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Minister revise his testimony. Okay, okay, of course. Lying on the floor. Saw Mia run to the left. She dodged, ran for the door, did her own single blow. Flap. Now do I present the class cards? No. Okay. Of course not. It wouldn't be that simple. I mean, if she ran that way, she had shoes on. She died with high heels. Really? Overruled. Think before you make characterizations. That didn't go so well. Okay, I guess it's not a clue, but... Oh, that's right! Mr. White? It is impossible for you to see the glass stand. Sorry, I'm just... Put my up. What? Look at this! Those are four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, both of the stands are not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Er, 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 ridiculosity. Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after the f after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. Wright? Mr. White, not Wright, must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the fail offices. In other words, you had the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Yeah! Pink suit, purple hair, says his favorite color is blue. No way. <coughs> Mr. White? Mr. White. You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I, I, it's Mia. Yeah, looks like we're about to get our verdict. Oh, yeah. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. But what? I forgot about Edward. Mr. White? I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess confess your crime now? Hmm? What? what? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to this court by what do you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court, Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way he, this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have to do, Your Honor? The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't. Mr. White, in order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Fay's office. Am I correct? C correct. You are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the... Wiretap, I breached the Fane Cole offices. That is when I saw the accursed light stand. You're not getting away with this. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand, at the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was a murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has been to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place a wiretap, he could have seen the glass light stand then. 
Here we go. Mr. Phoenix Wright theory is re revealed for the basis of conjecture. It is. Oh, he went there. Mm -hmm. He went there. Mr. White, you will testify to the court about this wiretapping. Ahem. Leave it to me. I, I feel faint. The wiretapping. Here we go! Now I'm not such an idiot! It was the beginning of September. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are we back? Okay, are we good? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. Law Offices. That was weird. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretapping. The wiretap! Whatever. That is when I saw the glass light stand. Hmm. So you saw the, the stand before the night of the incident. This is how you're able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. God, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. The wiretapping. I heard a growl. Oh. This made a weird noise. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Hold up. I don't know. I didn't have a fan called offices. Of course, I had done so to place wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Damn it. There's nothing here for me to press him on. Well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Do you have proof? Mr. Pomay knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. Okay, you entered the office. Was it really you that went into the office? Or was it Miss May? Unidentified fingerprints several, day, several days old were found in the Fanco offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went into the Fanco offices. Of course, I had done so to place a wiretap. Why did you tap me his phone? This is no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. Blue Corp is a detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That's when I saw this glass light stand. Why did, why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butatious thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing there for me to press on. Maybe I can bluff something out of him. Beginning of, the, beginning of September... When was she killed? Doesn't tell us. Hmm. Right, um... Entered the law offices. Place the wire type. Oh, don't tell me I've run out of ammo. I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought, honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? I yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. But Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. M M Mia! Where... where am I? The wedding lobby? What happened? Oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, you're finally awake. Gah! Ow. Hey, Phoenix. Gak? That's not what agreed, an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Oh, she's being channeled by Maya. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appeared that was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. 
So, Maya's channeling you, Mia? That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. But, but we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from the famous department store. Thousand dollars? Wow, big spender. Item, glass size stand? Data purchase September 4th. September 4th! That's right, Phoenix. I bought the stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now what did Mr. White say in his testimony? What is that? The week before. He said that he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. That's the ticket! Yes! Oh, this makes me sad. Brings back so many sad memories. Just tugs at the heartstrings. Oh, sad. I swear. I'm gonna go. I'm going crazy. Okay. Court will not reconvene for the trial, Mr. Mr. Wright. Is the defendant rather? Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Yes. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. Cross examination of Mr. White is finished. All that I would require is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright. Defendant Phoenix Wright. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Gotcha! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Waha! You're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The, the other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder! You see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered the Fan Cole offices at the beginning of September, the stand could not have been there. Well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's impossible. achievable. Oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there might, there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Oh, yes, oh, boy. Not so fast, Phoenix, right? Eh? What? No way he can warm his way out of this one. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. There's a certain threat of logic to the defendant's claims. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. Ergo, I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. We need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm, another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just, just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object! Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There's no way to prolong this trial any further. No reason. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? If anyone's going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm, I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Fiend trial will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edgeworth is just is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Yeah, the witness will stay. M Mia! Phoenix, read this note out loud. Mia, what's this? Memo I received from Mia. Your Honor, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. Mia's memo. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sound strange or familiar. People in finance. Famous celebrities. That's what happened. 
S -s stop! Desist! Halt! Please stop! Make him stop! How how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt. Right here, right now. Or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss Mia with... The Thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. I just love how... Uh, I didn't play in any of that, but... Uh, do I win? Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirit of defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you know it's spirited. Hmm. Well, this court finds the defense. Ahem, rather, the defendant. Mr. Phoenix Wright. Boom! That is all. The court is adjourned. Long episode. Again. Back in court lobby number one. Well, never thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are so weak. I can't stay here that long. But what? No, there's still so much left to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief. <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix, can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief. Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Fan Co. Law Offices. Being here, it's not hard to think about that night. You came. Mia! I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? Wow! <laughs> you should see your face. Mia. What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. But Maya? What, did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm, might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. offices, right? And who better but me? Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here. Ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick? You know what this means. We're partners. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Right in Cole offices. It's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. No! Good luck. Be back. <sighs> I'll always be here watching. No! No! No, 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 no. You can't do that to me again. Not again. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a-wasting. Uh, okay, wait up. Not again! Why again? Not again. This fucking sucks. Um, that that episode will have to wait until the next one. And until then, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here with me. If any of you teared up a little like I just did, you can't clear see it clearly, but I just teared up and I blinked it back. And please tell me so in the comments, or if you think I'm a, just a giant bitch baby, then also tell me because. You know, I am, and I'd like to hear it from you guys, not just from me, because that's a criticism coming from you, not just from me saying, oh, I'm a little bitch baby, but, you know, that's who I am. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more stuff that I do, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you are notified as soon as something goes up. If you want to see more of this, put it in the comments below. Tell me what you would like to see more of on my channel, and just tell me what you want to see. I will do my best to do it, but if I can't, then I will, I'll see what else I can do, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!